Let's get the shit on the road. Welcome back, everybody. I think it's been a solid two weeks. Sure has. So, what were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's a solid question. Oh, wait, I do remember. Um, we were, for like five minutes, tried to figure out how to get out of this place, saying that we were, didn't have enough time. And we were oh, right. oh, yes. screen away. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, so that's that's what happened. Continuation okay. from last stream. Um, right. it, we were literally one screen away, and we're like, okay, so I'll get yeah. out and save. And I was like, yep, one screen done, saved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So nothing was lost after the the end of our last video. It was basically, just a little bit further to the left, and there was the save point. <laughs> basically. <laughs> hey, what's up, circuitry? Hey. Tell the so, rest of uh, Facebook. I've been playing live. some more uh, Legend of uh, Trials of Mana. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. That's it's a pretty good game. Like I, I kind of like it. Mm. Well, I remember playing about half of the game, the the, the original one, on emulator, uh, back in the early two thousands, and I thought it was really good. Oh, you mean um, Secret of Mana? Secret of Mana three. Yeah. Is it, that's what that's what we're talking about, right? The original version of that. Hey, what's up, Torian Legend? Um, Torian, you're playing the 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 new version of the original. Yeah, well, the three. one for PS4. I didn't know that was a remake or a re imagining. Because I mean, it's let me like, let me look it up myself. So I'm I can curious see what which we're... one you played. You've played it too before. The the. The unreleased Secret of Mana three in on the on emulator on for Super Nintendo. I think you have. I, I know. I know we've talked about it before. Yeah, Torian Legend. What's what's been going on? I feel everyone's yeah. been kind of busy lately. This is exactly what it is. I know. I know these characters. Wait right here. Send it over. Let's let's see this nonsense. What you got? So I just looked up a, a, a screenshot of um, of uh, of Trials of Mana, of the like the, the game art. Oh, okay. So all these all these characters are in the the unreleased Super Nintendo uh, Seiken Desensu Three, which is uh, the Secret of Mana Three. But the name is so familiar, and it, I. Maybe I, like, blocked it out for some reason. Yeah, I think you did, because I'm pretty sure we... I, I know I played it, like, a good amount on, on Emulator back in the early 2000s, and I'm pretty sure I told you about it, and I thought you played it, too. <laughs> it, it was just never released? Yeah, it was just never released in America. Uh, eventually, there was a fan translation of, of a, a ROM floating around out there, and, yeah, this was, like, 2005 at the latest. Could have been earlier. Hmm. Huh. Oh wait, here's our asbestos armor again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, starting a, a tax and bookkeeping business, huh? That. Antorian. I'm sure it must be very, very time consuming. <laughs> Do you do personal taxes? Might hire you. <laughs> no kidding. Could probably use someone like that too. job on top of any other venture in life is is just so hard to do <laughs> oh uh yeah like how did that work with uber what do you mean like did you get an actual w2 from uber or do you sort of just have to figure it out yourself 
Oh, are, but are I, things um, withheld? At the uh, end of the the year, uh, they they give you your tax um, documents, you know, just like in a file. Hmm. And uh, it's when you do your taxes, uh, it, you just mark it down as contractor work, and you can you can itemize all your receipts if you have them. Uh, or and there's also this like, well, for TurboTax anyway, I think I think that's what I use. Um, it'll tell you that you there's like a, a an estimator pretty much mm -hmm. that you can just be like yeah that's probably what you spent on gas and and uh and food uh and it's, it's probably a little lower than what you would actually input yourself of course mm. but it's it's faster yeah it's been a while since i used triple tax mm. i mostly just i have a, a guy yeah the tax guy i could i could use a guy <laughs> the guy's good <laughs> so the turbo kit finally shipped oh hell yeah ships though from from china no from, from where well it's built in oregon american mm -hmm. so it'll be here soon then huh I don't know if I would feel okay with, like, a random Chinese turbo kit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said that it was from China. I don't, I don't know why, but... I don't know. No, it's from Oregon. Random insanity. <laughs> Is it for the TurboGrafx-16? Yes. <laughs> it's for his car. <laughs> it's for <the> car. <laughs> Oh, man. The car's kind of in pieces. What a nerd. <laughs> Boring. Oops. The car's been in pieces for like two weeks. Your so. Evo? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I told you what happened with the O2 sensor, right? Uh, mm, I don't think you did. I, it basically fused into the housing that it sits in. Oh no! So you didn't like, tell me that. It can't be separated. Oh no! How did that happen? Did you put it on wrong or something? Mm -mm. Oh, I didn't put this one on. I was just gonna go change oh. it because it's old. Oh yeah, so. So I think whoever put it on probably didn't use like uh, anti seize. Oh. So it is uh, like it's fused in there. I even tried to use like a 1200 pound impact gun or like wrench on it <laughs> to see if it would come out like after the fact now. Part I mean, of the car now. Uh, well, it's part of the housing, so I had to take the housing <laughs> out. And the reason the car's been in pieces is just I'm waiting for someone to build the new housing. Oh, okay. Well, oh, speaking you of Turbo Turbo Graphics, Graphics 16 on Sunday? Nice. Hell yeah, what are you gonna play? Yeah. Play that pinball game that you talk about, because um, cause I, I want to see it in action. Circuitry has said many times that her favorite pinball game uh, is, is is this game on Turbo Graphics, um, because it's... Uh, well, I mean, it's it's a it's a pinball game that you could never do on our actual real pinball machine because of because it's video gamey, mm -hmm. but it's a, a lot of fun apparently. Devil's Crush. All right now, I kind of want to see it. I think it has like little enemies that come come running across the board every once in a while, and it, it's it's kind of like Arkanoid where you, you take them out with the ball and it bounces back down. Hmm. Or a breakout, if you want to go classic. <laughs> Are they going to transform into the Power Rangers? <laughs> Megazord Power. Giant stream. <laughs> they crossed the streams. Don't do it. <laughs> Do you know Total Protonic Reversal? Yes. No. <laughs> Do 
you got that um uh Evercart or whatever the, that version of the you know just an SD card for your for your cart mm -mm. on the uh, uh Turbo Graphics circuitry, or do you own Devil's Crush? I'm pretty sure you said you had a ever ever cart or some version of it. Ever drive? Mm hmm. the SD card thing, cool. Well, I mean, it's just as good as as having all the other games except, you know, have the box art or the instruction books or anything like that. You have it for a few systems, right? <clears throat> I've got it for, for uh, Sega and the uh, Nintendo. Hmm. Oh, and the, and the uh, PlayStation, too. Oh. PSIO. Actually, yeah, you told me about that. That it like yeah, plugs I never showed into it the to back you. of it. Yeah, but yeah, it plugs into the back like a game shark. <clears throat> a preloaded SD card and emulator? Uh for for what system? Play it on Torian Legend. Oh, it's a Raspberry Pi. Mm. Okay, I got you. <clears throat> oh, actually, I have something similar. What was it? There was like um, an open source project you could build, and I put it on my mm -hmm. Raspberry Pi where it has like essentially all the emulators in one single UI. Yeah, I've heard of plenty um, of different versions of stuff like that. I think it's pretty popular. I, yeah. The name escapes me. Oh, I don't think I know what the name of any of those things are. I just thought of... I've always just logged it in my head as a Raspberry Pi emulator. Mm. <laughs> um, I think I have one around here somewhere, too, or I might have sold it at one point, but um, one of the customers at the arcade uh, was giving me all kinds of stuff at one point, actually, because he was, like, uh, condensing his media. Uh, so I got a bunch of... Uh, video games and CDs off him, but uh, he gave me a converted like Super Nintendo cartridge with a Raspberry Pi inside of it, basically, with controllers attached. Mm. And it had, um, I think it at least had all the Super Nintendo games, but uh, I think it had some other emulators inside of it as well. What you what you think? Robot laugh. Wow. <laughs> I just saw the uh, episode where where Q comes down and fucks with them, fucks with them again, uh, and he lost his powers. That's the one. And at the end, uh, that he makes he makes Data get like a he makes him laugh. Oh, like a real laugh. <laughs> I, I remember that scene. Yeah. I don't remember the episode. I don't remember what happens, but I remember like the ridiculous oh. laugh. It, uh, Q comes down at the you know at the beginning of the level of, of the level the the, 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 level. the episode. <laughs> yeah, it's the Q level. Uh, the uh, and, and he and he's uh, lost his powers for the for the continue. He's no longer a Q. He, mm. He's a human. And. Uh, oh. Okay, those I do remember those that. Yeah. Energy aliens are trying to kill him and shit like that, and he does some act of, of compassion or whatever, and gets his powers back, and throughout the, the episode he's forming a relationship-ish, uh, some rapport with, with uh, Data. Hmm. And at the end he gives him a gift. What season is that in? Three. 
I'm chugging along through season three. Yep, yep. Yeah, that is too bad, Torian Legend. She's not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> but kids kids are kind of ridiculous sometimes they don't they don't know what's good mop oxen. Yeah. Shiny metal ass. Isn't this like Darth Vader rules though? Is uh, she gonna die? Literally or figuratively? Are they... <laughs> Turn your eyes off. <laughs> it's probably figurative. <laughs> Ripping its armor apart. <laughs> fight the three stooges. I remember that. Oh, um, <laughs> speaking of which, can you go on Steam and see when the first oh, yeah. three Pixel Remaster ones come out? I was, I was going to do that anyway, yeah. For, we got side, sidetracked. <laughs> you do that. Steam. Oh, one of the games I wanted to get uh, is, is on sale on Steam. But I wanted to get it on the freaking Switch instead because it's, it's more of a Switch game. Oh, what is it? Uh, Indivisible. It's that hand drawn um, uh, RPG. Uh, tell me more. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't really have more to say about it. It's all it looks like is just a hand drawn, cartoony hmm. uh, RPG. I showed it to you before you said it looked cool. God damn it. Why can't I remember these things? <laughs> I feel like I have some kind of degenerative brain disease. I mean, you, if you only looked at it once, I could understand if you don't remember it. <laughs> hmm. I might be interested in it as well. Oh. Send it to you again. Purchase Final Fantasy uh, coming tomorrow. Tomorrow? Ah! Yeah, it's, it comes out tomorrow, but it's 20% off right now. So I think it's it, whoa, what happened to him? <laughs> um, I think it says how long the sale lasts for. I thought it was like through August. Uh, the sale? Mm hmm. 
Oh, let me see. I don't know if it says that. Oh yeah, okay, special promotion offer offer ends August 11th. Hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah, so it's still on sale tomorrow. Yep, it should be. Yeah, so the first three come out tomorrow, and then the next ones... Uh, it doesn't, doesn't have a release date. Yeah, it didn't have I mean, it, doesn't, it says 2021. But uh, I imagine it should it shouldn't be more than a couple months. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, I guess there's only a couple months, months left. Oh, I, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I heard, I had seen in the in the um, article that we read about it that they were planned to come out like th three months after after this. Oh, which okay. is about the rest of the about the rest of the year anyway. So yeah. Yeah, so it's like towards the tail end. Yeah. Yeah, part six is needless to say definitely the one I'm interested in. Yeah. That's. that's I, I mean, I might want to buy the first one uh, before six comes out, but I don't. I don't think I'd ever get to playing it. Until until later. Oh, did I tell you I bought the um, um, Bioshock pack? Yes, I think. Yeah, it was like ten bucks for the for like all of them. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. Have you been playing it? I played. I'm playing the first one. Yeah. It comes with the uh, original versions of the older ones, uh, and also like the remastered, better graphics version. Hmm. Oh, that's Urshan. Prove it to me, go hi -ya! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she was trapped in there for a reason. <laughs> Should you let her out? Suspicious. What the hell are those? up with their names yeah. they said they look like strange and like Bible angel names or something Google them Galeb <laughs> like Azius and AGL Azius Azius systems there's a computer company interesting AGL is nonsense. Attacks are so dumb. They just like poke me with <laughs> the bottom just half of them. Bash you with my with my feet or whatever. <laughs> There's two in the background. Auto heal. Bonk. Get him, Cray. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a Star Wars character named Yaleb. Oh god. Yaleb the Protector. Too nerdy. Can't do it. <laughs> what? Oh no. 
Oh, yeah. How do you miss? It's a monolith. I think he can live. He's got this. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, are you out of Phoenix Downs? Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> <laughs> this is game's version of it. I think you're right. She doesn't have any revive magic. Not yet. This what good are you? Medium healing. Oh, are you no, dead? Just, just quarter. So far, Bioshock's actually really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's got this pretty cool aesthetic, and it's um, at, like a lot of a lot of horror games are not that scary to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this one is, isn't exactly scary either, but it's got a pretty distinct creepy factor to it that I do find kind of unique. Mm -hmm. Unique, unique. <laughs> um, but the, the the aesthetic of it is pretty good too. Like um, it's older graphics, but it looks really good. How many of them are there? There's like three of them, I think. Let me, let me look. Yeah, one, two, and infinite. Hmm. Do they have the voodoo dolls? Um, I haven't seen any voodoo dolls yet. Are you talking literal voodoo dolls that you've seen in the game where they like stab something and you get hurt? Because <laughs> uh, no, I haven't seen that yet. I'm still at the very beginning of the, of the first game. How many hours have you played in it so far? Da, 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 da. Girl like dolls. two hours. About two hours. Oh, okay. So it's like literally beginning of the beginning. Yeah. Uh, that there was a a little creepy girl that kind of had like a doll dress on that was a uh, 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 do like she she's some villain that you can't uh, can't interact with yet. Every once in a while she'll pop up. You hide, you hide because <clears throat> she's coming out of whatever. She's about to like kill someone and uh, and her her big uh, bodyguard guy. I forget his name. He's got the drill on his hands, mm -hmm. like the big metal suit. So uh, her and that thing were always in all the, like, poster art yeah. and stuff. Okay, yeah. For the game. Well, that must be what you're talking about, or what, what circuitry was, was like, referencing. Yeah, because she, she kind of looks like a little doll girl thing. <laughs> yeah. And, and she's pretty intimidating, though. They, 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 all the voice acting is really good so far. She looks like a villain. <laughs> I am so evil. <laughs> That's the wood problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do. Are they in the spirit world? Uh, it's like in Urshan's brain. I oh, guess. oh, that's right. There's that's that's right. I forgot they were they went into the the, the dream thing. All right, so now you gotta find someone that's okay being possessed. Sure. Well, we'll find Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> what not. What not. <laughs> okay. Like, does it matter if it's male or female? Doesn't... Th she didn't seem didn't, to specify. Didn't say. Either will do. <laughs> cool skull thing. Yeah. Oh no. Good. <laughs> Why is the animation so goddamn good on these enemies? <laughs> Keep coming back to that. That's fantastic. There too? Yeah, I don't know how she was aware of that. <laughs> I saw your collective vision. That's that's that quite a power. Strongest medium in the village. <laughs> Here, <You're> have a gnome. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> hey, get possessed by this thing. <laughs> it's access port. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't know transferring souls was such a mechanical process. Oh god, that thing's totally evil. Oh, that's why it was so wide and, like, cauldron-like, because the blob needed to stay that big, I guess. <laughs> For a game that makes you go off and do a million different weird side side shit, I'm surprised you didn't have to go actually find the medium. Right. It just pops up right at the end, right right after. <laughs> right here, just possess this kid. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he travels. He just he just gets into a river and just float, dead, dead man floats until someone picks <laughs> him up. <laughs> it's like God, this guy's a wreck. Let's put him back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that sounds right, little sister. Mm. Um, so far, there's only one. So I, I guess as I uh, as I play the game, I'll see more. Maybe it's just one for the first game, and then like you play the next one. There's like it's like aliens, right? So there's little sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Hmm. Just a random dead end? Okay. I could be right about that then. I think the big guy's name is like, um, Big Daddy? I think it's Big Daddy. <laughs> Big brother, maybe, but I don't know. Big daddy. Jeez, which which one of them is human? I mean, like, Ryu looks the most human, but he's not. The person in the center is, like, potato person. <laughs> potato person. <laughs> and the, the other one have, have wings and a tiger tail. Like, there is no humans there. They're <laughs> <laughs> a rare breed. <laughs> Alex Jones is right. <laughs> <laughs> there was frog people earlier too, wasn't there? <laughs> First you get the dragons, then you get the money, then you get the power. <laughs> More resting. <laughs> this guy is so lazy. <laughs> Except it's always nice to jump to like level 65. <laughs> it always kind of bothered me whenever that. Uh, RPGs would do that to switch you to another character that's way above you the, the rest of the party you didn't like that? I mean, I mean it, it's it's fun for a moment and then it's like oh well I can't I can't stay at this for you know it's always a short little oh yeah bit yeah oh um so I don't know why this just popped in my head, but remember that unnamed um, Final Fantasy Tactics style game? Oh, the one that I was playing on Switch? Yes, sure. I think so. I think you're the one that told me about it. Or God, War, God of Wars or something like that. Yeah. God Wars. I think it was called God Wars. No, 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 not that one. Uh, oh, okay. It didn't have a title. Oh. 
It was like something triangle or triangle something. Oh, um, I think um, uh, the ash frame was telling us about it, mm. and we looked it up. But I, yeah, I can't. I think it was triangle something, yeah. Because I think it was just named after the studio that was creating it. Right. Right, it's still in production, I think. Or was at the time that we looked it up. Probably still is, it's only been like a couple months. Yeah. But the, the demo was really good. You played it? Mm hmm Cool. Oh, that's right, yeah, you could play the, you play it on Switch for, for a free demo, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Did it look? Uh, it's it's done by the actual people from from Tactics, right? Or was it just like some, in in order of them? Some group of them, presumably. Oh, okay. That's what it said. Well, that's good. So, so it, it definitely like felt like Tactics. Uh huh. Well, like the the art style, dude, and then the combat, mm. like you could tell. Feels right. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. <laughs> I spend the whole whole game in bed. <laughs> Big surprise. And he's back. <laughs> Put your shirt on. You're indecent, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ditzed. Ditzed. Shut up. <laughs> Talk right. <laughs> Thus didst. talking way over my head there, dude. him <laughs> oh your wound is still unhealed <laughs> go back to bed <laughs> he just like keeps trying to escape but your wound goddamn hillbillies don't use all their whole words <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a stump. Dead end. Bump in the way. I can't possibly step over it. <laughs> so I gotta walk around the house. Very green. <laughs> it looked like a beacon. We're free. Boss fight. Is this the way to boss fight? Seems like probably. Jesus, how did that thing get up so high, wherever it was? Where did it, it come came from? Just poop out of the sky? Plop. Got no arms to climb. <laughs> With the brake beats, I like it. Uh -huh. Mess him up. Ever listen to um, Square Pusher? Maybe. That name sounds familiar. It's this old, uh, like, uh, break beats type, you know, drum and bass mm -hmm. stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, I, I don't have it? a what? This made you think of it? Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of it on my on my uh, playlist, but uh, the one song I, one or two songs I have are pretty good. music for sure. I like it. Glitch something? Maybe he evolves or whoever whoever Square Pusher is um, evolved into that, but the stuff that I heard circuitry was definitely like just your standard 
the breakbeat drum bass type stuff. I don't think it was didn't sound too glitchy. At least the stuff that I was listening to. Although I think the album that I was listening to was called Glitch Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can't I can't speak for for uh, with authority on that. <laughs> All, all I know is that I, I, I liked what I heard. Took care of your monster problem. Kilt it. Kilt it good. Kilt it good. It's called Glitchcore. What? That name sucks. I don't like that. Makes it sound more gimmicky than it is. Better not be back in bed. <laughs> Rebooting. Venetian snares. I'll have to check them out. I've never heard of them. I do generally like that kind of music. Um, I've never really stopped liking it. Hmm. I think it all probably started with The Matrix, actually. <laughs> that soundtrack was really damn good. Venetian Snares is too gimmicky for you. I said with um, Square Pusher anyway, uh, Ali like took like two or one or two songs off of that one album that I was like, okay, these are good. The rest of it kind of it, it sounds all the same uh, to itself. There's only a couple that stand out to me, so I guess I guess it is kind of gimmicky, but I pulled out the best ones, I suppose. Oh, I did have some. I guess I'm just blind. Can you, uh, wakes you back up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds healthy. Derp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some asbestos armor. <laughs> At the end of the game, everybody has cancer. <laughs> I've been wearing this armor for 30 years. <laughs> Square meter. Never heard of them either. That's a negative. Alright, round two. Right. Yee. Bad sector, I believe I have heard of. I can't think of any songs by them though. I think I just I just know the name of the band. Like, wasn't there a song that we played on at the arcade? Yeah, what was the name of that song? 
Or was there multiple ones? <laughs> scare people at the arcade. Yeah, there was there was some dark stuff that she would play that was very good at scaring the, the streets. Damn. I'll have to look them up because I, I feel like there was one, one song in particular by Bad Sector that I really liked. I no longer... Uh, I mean, well, all that music's on the Mac and I haven't plugged that in in a, in a while. More treasures. Yeah. Jesus, they have enough albums. How many? A lot. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't count them. There's like 25 pages of them. It's got to include like singles and things like that. Yeah, that's just crazy. Looks like 22 albums, seven singles and EPs, five compilations, three miscellaneous. Okay, that's 37 releases. Still a ridiculous amount. Quite a bit. Manly clothes. You got what? Manly clothes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought we got that before. It wasn't as I think you have. It's definitely not better than our asbestos armor. I can't go, with, go without that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, here it has a I don't want to have to click on all these uh, albums individually. I just want a big list of all their songs. Oh, well. Don't do it. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll just wait till I come across it at a certain point. Fire blast. Ouch. Sheesh. Riker's silly girlfriend. Uh, I remember the Binars, but I thought they were from like, um, from from Voyager. Was that really in, in TNG? The uh, Binars? Oh no, I do remember that. Yes, no, it was it was it was a uh, 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 in TNG. I remember this. I remember this episode. Yeah, where they make the the Hollow program. Uh, and give give Riker uh, like like the ultimate girlfriend or whatever. Yes. <laughs> oh god, I remember that. <laughs> god, Riker's such a creeper. <laughs> no, he he turned her down. <laughs> He's like, you're not real. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is even too weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> me and my beard are leaving. <laughs> Although I don't think he had the beard yet. I can't remember. <laughs> What is going on here? I don't know, it's like her harem. Ugh. This reminds me of when my uncle was working the Celine Dion show. I was forced to go watch it because my sister wanted to go and no one else would like go with her. So like they forced me to go <laughs> and she had like a friggin' bed of muscle dudes. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it was basically this. <laughs> it was quite horrible. I did get to go backstage afterwards to check out all the, the technical equipment. That's all cool. the tech was yeah, like I saw I saw HD monitors um pretty much before they were in the, the main main use for, for consumers. Hmm. Yeah. Paul was like, look, look, it's like looking right through a, a, a mirror or, or, or a window, that is. And it was like Proto 720. <laughs> <laughs> IDM. 
What does that that stand for? Industrial drum music. <laughs> I don't know. Intelligent dance music. Well. Oh. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of a stupid um, stupid acronym too. Like, there's there's not much about that music I would call intelligence. It's just busy. <laughs> I think every subgenre of, of dance music has a little bit of that PDM uh, in it, <laughs> depending on how bad the fans are. Oh my god, why are they still talking about this? Yeah, I think we understand. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> As we're like, my knee hurts. these guys? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yikes. It's funny that they address that. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they should have one dude like in the corner that looks like Chris Farley. <laughs> Does that guy have his arms straight up? Oh no, they're uh, they're like crossed behind his head. Yeah. It's like drink drink my abs in. <laughs> Did you see my chest? <laughs> <laughs> we'll give her some time with her harem. Yikes. Jeez, put some guardrails. <laughs> Knowing the running controls in this game? Oh my god. Right? <laughs> it's treacherous. Muriel. I don't know if I know who that is. I probably... Oh! Wait. No, no. I can't think of it. I was thinking Miriam. And someone else. Oh! Muriel's Wedding. Your damn weird favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've still never actually seen that movie. I've just seen like m bits of it on on mute at the arcade. Yeah, Circuitry's favorite movie ever is inexplicably this this rom com <laughs> called Muriel's Wedding. Interesting. I don't think I've ever heard of it. <laughs> no one's ever heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make note. I'll watch but she it. She owns it on Laserdisc. <laughs> nice. That's the only medium it ever came out on. <laughs> that <and> Betamax. Betamax. <laughs> 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 I mean, I from what I saw of it on mute, it did look fairly wacky. Mm. <laughs> My 
Let's do it. Dragons. Did you ever listen to this band called Imagine Dragons? Uh, no, they're pretty popular, so you definitely. Heard yeah, I never, I never listened to them. I have no idea what they sound like. Uh, I'm not sure it's, how to quantify it. it. Like, it seemed to be poppy, like some kind like of like pop rock. <laughs> it seemed to be some, some kind of like. Uh, pop culture rock yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean it's uh, like mainstream stuff you hear on the radio for sure oh imagine dragons I think generally they're made fun of for some reason oh I'm not too sure why I think it's Most... like uh, like people that are just getting into music maybe that's what they gravitate towards oh I don't, I don't it's, know what I'm it's like about beginner music and I guess that's why people make fun of it but I like, don't get it like oh I just graduated from kids bop so I'm gonna start listening to Imagine Dragons that kind of thing <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> they need to tone it down maybe visualize lizards visualize lizards <laughs> I, if I heard it on the radio or like whatever, not radio necessarily, but like just comes up on Spotify as I'm driving, I wouldn't necessarily change it. Oh, yeah, I've never, I've never had it on my Spotify or anything like that, and I don't listen to the radio. <laughs> if I heard them, I wouldn't know it was them unless I saw it on the, you know, the uh, tag. I got an eighty-four percent Muriel's wedding. Oh. Well, I mean, it's pretty good, I suppose. Oh, shit. But I mean, when like... When did it come out? It had to have been in the 80s or late or early 90s. Um, but uh, it, by the looks of it, it was an early 90s movie. Hmm. Hit me out and it says Roar. <laughs> 90, not, <laughs> roar. 90, it is 94. Uh, is that right around Wedding Singer and... Wedding Singer was 97. Hmm. Uh, the big movie I know that came out in 94 was uh, uh, Groundhog Day. Oh. Saw that one in theaters. Julia Gulia. <laughs> we have watched that movie probably more times than any other damn movie in this house. <laughs> For some reason. I mean, I like it, but they, the, the roommates are like, let's put it on again. And I'm like, okay. Oh. Fascinating. Sure. That might be like, like me it. and Zoolander. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a long time. Oh Probably the last time I saw it was with you. Probably. <laughs> no. I thought I could make it. We should have a hundred percent. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Death perception. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me down. <laughs> Let me out. Uh, you haven't seen Strange Days, have you, Ben? No. I think I told you about mm -hmm. it. You, you really, you should really watch it. I think you would definitely would absolutely love that movie. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, something. I bought a new copy of it on VHS <laughs> hmm. about, about a year and a half ago.
Ew. <laughs> well, it said you had to get back in. Like, so is she supposed to just possess that kid forever? Oh. Sorry, kid, you don't get to have a life anymore. Yep. It's my body now. Possessed by that demon. Slash god thing. We still need your rocket punch. Yeah, that thing's useful. <laughs> Just sit there. <laughs> Poor Urshan. Damn it. Hey, <laughs> dash frame. Hey. Watch out. It's been a while. Oh god. That looks like it does bad things. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Kill oh yeah, we've seen this before. <laughs> it's all good. We're we're super inconsistent nowadays. Fucking too much responsibles. Responsible. <laughs> oh. That was a you uh got a second stream? Dash frame? you been streaming lately? We'll get moving, Urshan. Then Kato's Origins. Kaitos. Kaitos. Oh. What's what's that? Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. All swooshy in the wind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow. He brained you. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Are you playing it on GameCube or are you emulating it? Oh, more Monolith games. I'm 100% on board. Yeah, they seem to be pretty uh, solid at doing, mm -hmm. doing their thing. I want to watch someone else play like Xenogears and Xenosaga. <laughs> I want to be on the receiving end. <laughs> It is uh, fairly fun to see someone play a game differently than you you would play it your, yourself. You mean wrong? No, I'm <laughs> I mean, it feels that way at first, but but after the week, once you're like, ah, oh, they're getting through the game. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually a lot of fun. Like, take for instance, uh, uh, like. Um, 
Portal or Portal 2 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like that game you can play a thousand different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with a lot of games you kind of get used to doing things a certain way, and especially like mm -hmm. older RPGs that you've played, you're like, well, I've done this before and it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's absolutely any any other mm -hmm. number of ways of doing it. You could save up money and buy all like 99 super balls, and that could be your your primary attack. <laughs> <laughs> Swollen eyeballs. Card-based battle systems aren't uh, something I'm very used to, but it's not something I'm like completely against. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I think the most experience with a card-based battle system in a video game that I've ever had is, is trying to get through one of the Dragon Ball, or some of the Dragon Ball Z untranslated RPGs. Oh. And, like, none of it made any sense to me, so basically have no experience <laughs> with card-based battle systems. <clears throat> Cool. That sounds fun. Ooh. Oh, dear. Monolith always did a good job with that. Nice. Amazing art direction. Nice. Go wrong. And it's I'm sorry, art. you said it was for GameCube? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a, definitely an older title. That would be interesting. Get it from that direction. It's a negative. She's got wings, god damn it. I feel like so many obstacles would be solved in this game if Nina just tried. <laughs> I know, right? Use your thing. She's like, I'm not flying down there. Yep. It's like when Krillin refuses to, to cut everybody in half with the friggin' jams on. He's just like, nah, <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> I do find it funny that they gave one of the weakest characters in that game, or that movie, or series, whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> All of that. Um, that uh, one of the strongest moves, you know, one of the most deadly moves that, that just never works. If only it would hit. I feel that's how things usually work. Right. 
high damage, low chance of hit. <laughs> low hit percentage. But why? I mean, it's it's that you can even control its path with your telekinesis. Like, it's just it's just because plot. Like, can't have him dicing up the enemies. <laughs> They're supposed to be uh, intimidating. Written themselves into a corner. <laughs> I know, right? Good job, dog man. <laughs> Gaius. Button. Button. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Mother of God. Time trial. The sands of frustration. That thing's depleting quickly. Ugh. Fun. It'd be funny if it's still in battle. Like, are you kidding uh, me? <laughs> well, that was one of the things I absolutely hated about the opera scene in, in, uh, in Final Fantasy, is the time timer would keep going. That makes sense. Through, through the fi fight. Waits for no man. I mean, it makes sense, but it's, it's uh, frustrating. Yeah, like, oh god, kill these rats quickly. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess then again, there was only a set number of fights mm -hmm. for, for that, because you can see the rats on the screen, or on the map screen. Yep. So, it was, I mean, it was always doable. I think maybe once or twice I, I lost because of the being timed out. But that was just bad luck. Or inexperience. <laughs> <laughs> Sand. The sands of time. Quickly. Made it. Excellent. What's that? Looks suspicious. Ooh. How do we get down there? Circuitry is correct. Sometimes flop games are the best. Same type, same with movies. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh, that that was just bad. It is amazing. Fuck off. I love that movie. <laughs> That does nothing. Ah. Nice. To system where they playing. Treasure. Can't have it. Damn it. Must have it. It's a problem. Well, that was a thing that happened in uh, in Bioshock to me. Uh, I didn't realize that like it seems to be uh, a little bit less open world, where you can just go anywhere in, on the map. Mm -hmm. um, where it's it's like it's kind of puts you in different sections, and you complete it, and you go to the next one. 
uh, I, I saw a thing like down. I was like up, up on, a, on a on a balcony, and I saw it. If I jump down, there's some stuff on a table. I was like, I'm gonna go the other way real quick to see what's there. And then there was over there was a freaking like story thing that happened, and it triggered some other thing to happen. And now I can't go back yeah. to the freaking table of items. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool name for a, a Twitch stream, 48k RAM. <laughs> this guy looks like he plays Atari. Has this guy played Atari today? Yes, he has. Nice looking stream. Industrial froth gogger, frogger, frogger. <laughs> froth gogger. Or look that one over. Their little village is done for. See the industrial goth frogger. <laughs> it's uh that's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Getting about, I only got about 10 minutes left, by the way. What? Yeah. That, that happens. <laughs> Alright, I, I should probably go back outside then and save. Because I think this is the start of a new area. Okay. Can he camp? He can't camp. Okay. Camping for you. He's what? <laughs> We can save at the house. Cool. Yeah, we can try to do, um, yeah, work loser time. We can try to do, uh, Sunday this Sunday. Again, sure. are you, you're gonna be around? Mm hmm Cool, uh, I should be as well. Uh, and try to keep, get, keep doing, uh, Tuesdays. Yeah, that works. And if you want to do another day during the week. Yeah, if it's, uh, if I got time, mm -hmm. I'll be down. Cool. Um, maybe this Friday I, I might be able to. Sure. Let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right. We're done. We're Good. done. Potentially pick it <laughs> up right. Friday, cool. and if not Friday, then sounds like Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks for joining everyone. Sorry, I gotta go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank no you. No more fun. <laughs>